your midday Arklamas news update. And good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to NBC News Daily. I'm Randy Stone with your midday update. Three separate suspects have been accused of stealing over $100,000 from ATM machines in Ruston, and Monroe. Now, according to documents, Anthony Jesus Montez Verna and Gomeza Daniel Carizna and Sima Musin Madosa were suspects in approximately five burglaries at Centric Federal Credit Union ATMs. Charles Rada and Madosa were named as a suspect in the ATM burglary at Washita Valley Federal Credit Union. According to court documents, the suspects allegedly stole over $100,000 during these burglaries. Authorities were able to link the suspects to multiple ATM burglaries in the region from North Carolina to Texas and as far as Michigan. Authorities mentioned that Mendoza was a member of a Venezuelan street gang and Shiraz Rada belonged to a Colombian gang. On April the 15th, Mendoza was arrested for burglary related offenses and his bond was set at $300,000. We will keep you updated on this story at MyArklamas.com. The City of West Monroe, a debuted oral history project in commem uh, commemoration of the city's 140th birthday. NBC 10's Ina Bronner has more details. To celebrate the city's 140th anniversary in 2023, a collaborative oral history project was developed in partnership with the West Wachita Senior Center, the University of Louisiana at Monroe, and KEDM Public Radio. A lot of oral histories are just that. They're oral, they're audio. You only hear their voices. We found that it would be very unique to record them to video and have the faces that go along with the stories. Exploring oral history can lead you to unexpected places or reveal information not found in published materials. You only have so much time. After a certain amount of time, if you don't ask and you don't learn from those people who know the facts, who know the past, you lose it. It dies with them. And if you get out there and actually talk to locals, you can learn the real juicy gossip. We just did some stuff like, like stuff we must be doing, drinking out of different water fountains and stuff like that. We did this with just two girls. And um, she got to watch to see if anybody coming. And I'll watch if anybody coming. They believe I'm running late. You know, I'm like, girl, we are going to get in a world of trouble. But we didn't get in trouble nobody never knew. And through thick and thin, locals wouldn't change a thing. My time, my life, I would not trade it for anything. I am with my home, born and bred. And now, exclusive Storm Tracker Doppler weather with meteorologist Chase Ward. We'll continue to be cloudy with chances of white showers and some drizzle in some parts of the Arklamas and we kind of continue this jury pattern as we go into the late evening hours and overnight tonight. Could see some more showers popping up during the overnight hours but mainly along in south I-20 corridor. Probably won't see that much in the parts of South Arkansas. These winds will continue mainly out of the south. Now as we go into tomorrow we'll have a cold front start to push in out of the northwest which will start sparking up some showers and thunderstorms by at least tomorrow evening and we could see some strong thunderstorms capable of producing some gusty winds, maybe even a small hill could be associated with these thunderstorms that move into parts of South Arkansas and can't rule out those same chances for areas north of the I-20 corridor into parts of northeast Louisiana. Probably won't see anything as far as severe weather south of the I-20 corridor, but again, gusty winds, maybe some hail could be associated with those storms. That's going to be the main threat that we'll see for tomorrow and really throughout the rest of the week, we will continue this unsettled pattern that will last throughout much of this weekend. These temperatures will be falling off a little bit as well, dropping down to the 60s by Saturday and Sunday. We will fall to upper 60s for lows tonight and then for tomorrow temperatures will be reaching back to the lower 80s. Of course there's that chance for evening thunderstorms and of course severe weather cannot be ruled out but winds and hail still the primary threat. By Saturday and Sunday we continue with the unsettled pattern more thunderstorms temperatures fall to the 60s and overnight lows will be falling to the mid 40s but we'll, we'll clear out by next Monday and Tuesday. Get the six minute advantage with the live storm tracker Doppler radar on NBC 10 sponsored by Homeland Bank. Where's your money? Update, get your St. Jude tickets while they're last are going fast. God bless you. See you tomorrow.